All right, folks, y'all tell me what you think about this. This is just an idea. I'm just freestyling with this right here. Oh, I need a little dining room table up there at the house I just built. And, uh, you know, wanted to go into that little hanging light right there at the back uh, window, you know, right there close to the kitchen next to the bar. And needed it small. So this thing's been sitting out here in the yard forever. I think the frame of it finally rusted and rotted down. So instead of throwing it away, of course, I just drug it out there behind the barn. And uh, I got to thinking a while ago, I said, boy, that thing right there would be perfect. I mean, it'd be perfect. Build a wood foundation, set it on it, drill a hole, pull a, put a peg in the center just to hold it. And that way you could actually rotate the the uh, top on the pedestal of the, you know, the table. You know, you could rotate the top around if you needed to or flip it over, whatever you needed to do. But it being tempered, I said, well, that should should hold up. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to be used a lot because we do have a bar. But I think it would be, uh, I think it would look really good in there. I think that's what I'm gonna work on. Like I said, freestyling, don't have no plan, just gonna go with it. Y'all tell me what you think. All right, I had a six by six out there, an old uh, uh, Cypress six by six that I'd cut years ago. And it really wasn't enough to do what I was wanting to do. That's why I had to rip these in half. So, uh, but it worked out to be enough. I run it through the planer, got everything slicked up. And, uh, it hadn't been sanded or any of the finish done to it, but it's going, we're going, I'm going to stain it to match those beams up there. I will go ahead and make these right here like look really good because so oh, you're going to be looking at the top of those, the top of these right here through the, uh, you know, through the, that glass top. You know, you want it to look good. So, but I think it looks so. Uh, I think it's going to look really good. And I'll be able to fasten it. Oh, the counter, the, the tabletop is, the piece of glass is like 36 by 36. So I'll be able to drill a hole right here in the middle and put a wood peg. And then I'll put a cap over that and screw into that peg to hold the, uh, the tabletop from, you know, if you lean on it like on this corner or something, it won't pop off and, you know, crush somebody's toe or something. Drop your food in your lap. Well, I think it's going to look pretty good. 16, I think 16 inches on these, and I think 19 inches on these right here on the length. That's from long point to long point. And, of course, with the 6 by 6 in the middle, that just added that much to it. So, 30 inches tall. Simple, fast, but functional. Y'all hang in there. I'll get the finish on this thing and uh, the top, top on it, and we'll see what it looks like. Look at that right there. We got what, 45 minutes in building something? To, you know, ain't much to it, but oh, I think it's gonna really work out good. I can drill down right here and, uh, you know, put a peg in, put a cap over that, screw through the cap into the uh, peg, and then that way it won't slip and slide around and you won't be able to turn it. You won't be able to flip the top. I've been pushing on it pretty good, though, and it's going to be really hard to to uh, push the top off of it anyway, but uh, probably going to end up putting some kind of little bumpers under there just to keep, you know, some kind of little uh, felt pads or something just to keep it from rattling or whatever, you know, sort of muffle some of the sound. But I, I think it looks pretty snazzy. A little bit of finish. Look good. All right, y'all, excuse the mess. Don't look at anything but the table. Don't look around it, because I got stuff everywhere. Ain't even got hardly room to build anything in here. I need to clean this shop out. I know I do. Oh, Minwax Provincial on the stain. It's an oil-based stain, so it'll take 24 hours to dry before I can put a uh, water-based, you know, clear coat over it. I'm gonna go with that uh, clear satin on that. Put like two or three coats sand in between each coat. Not completely finished with it yet, but the way the, you know, it's getting dark and uh, I was wanting to finish the video up, so I just got in here and, and I put some stain on it real quick and get y'all an idea of what it's gonna look like. Super simple, got, I don't know, hour and a half in it maybe and a lot of that was sand in it. Still got a putty screw holes and stuff like that. Oh, I've got some color putty that matches the stain 
that I did with the beans with in that house. I'm just gonna use that same color putty to putty the uh, screw holes. That way you won't see those. I think it's pretty cool though to, to take something that's, uh, you know, been sitting out there behind the barn and turn it into something. I'm gonna drill a hole right here, put a peg in that fits this hole right here, and then, and then put a cap over the top, screw through the cap into the peg, and then that way it won't shift around. If I just put a uh, screw in the middle with a cap, then that would still, you know, you could still slide that, that glass top around, but that should keep it true and keep it from uh, flipping off, which is it's pretty hard to move right now. I mean, it's pretty heavy, so it would be hard to knock it off, but, you know, you never know. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And, uh, hey, appreciate y'all.